So I hit her up with a little horny. <laughs> so when it comes to things like online dating, I, I'm not that old, I'm only 24. And I remember when I was like, a couple of years ago, online dating was seen as such a weird thing. Oh, you're a weirdo. You meet people on the internet. You meet people that you don't even know. But with online apps by things like OkCupid, Tinder, Plenty of Fish, literally every person, including your neighbor, is now doing some like sort of online dating. Do I recommend using online dating for how you date? Yes and no. It shouldn't be your only way of meeting people, but in the luxury and safety of your own home or on your toilet while you need to pass some time, uh, it's definitely something that you should look into. Why? Number one, you can test out your texting game, right? Because every guy or girl needs to have a little bit of text wrestling game so they, you know, you can snatch her up. You know what I'm saying? And um, just disclaimer, I've hidden all these people for privacy. I'm not trying to shame anyone, but these are real, my own real Tinder conversations with real people. So um, what I like to do, being the social media person that I am, is I like to do a little bit of research before I meet the person or who that person is. And I found out that this person posts their screenshots of Tinder shaming guys in horrible lines on her Twitter. So I commented with, did you just join Tinder so you can make fun of bad openers? And she replied with one word, yes. That's not nice, I said. And she replied with the sarcastic, oh no. And I was like, okay. This conversation just went And I went, I hit her with the, if young Metro don't trust you. Bang, bang, bang. And that's pretty much how the conversation ended. And I replied with, um, so uh, can I get your number? Even when it comes to online dating, guys still are expected to hit, not literally hit, but hit the girl's DMs, Tinder DMs, with the first message. But this is the rare occasion that a girl messaged me first. And uh, she said, hey, my friend wants you. And in my head, I'm like, this girl is either drunk, has her friend's phone, so I'm just gonna troll her, tell her I eat dogs. She wants to know what, what breeds only teacup Yorkies. That's not a lot of meat, I said. You can only tell this conversation is going down the gutter. No, but a lot of poop. So will I ever meet this friend of yours? She says yes. She doesn't have a dog though. So can I get her number? She actually gave me her number and her friend's name and I'm like, is this real? I put it up on Facebook search and it's a real, it's a real name and number. But I never followed up because it's kind of weird referring your friend of a friend via Tinder. So that conversation kind of ended there. And I wasn't joking when you meet everyone and your neighbor and you come across that weird Tinder moment when everyone is on Tinder and you come across someone that you used to work with and sort of talk to, but you know, time fell apart and you don't talk anymore. So I'm like, should I swipe left or right? Would she be offended if I, or would I not be offended if I didn't swipe? I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna swipe, even though I haven't talked to her for years, hella awkward. And next thing you know, we end up matching. And I'm like, oh, this is hella awkward. So I replied with, Hey, person I don't know, how's life? LOL, I thought it might have been you. Haha, <laughs> life's alright, still trying to figure it out. Sorry for the late reply, I actually turned off notifications. Someone's popping A. But short story short, we end up exchanging numbers and um, we never talked after that. Yeah. But fun fact, I saw her a couple other days at the grocery market and she did one of those, oh my god, it's him, and she, she turned around and walked. So yeah, Tinder reuniting old friends. And the fun fact of being a Korean hip hop fan is you know a little bit of Korean. So I 
this girl who's not Korean had Korean in her bio. So I was like, the conversation talked about like Korean food for a bit, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna skip that. And it went along the lines of, I replied with, by mixed breeding, obviously. I can't do that alone though. Dot, dot, dot. Yes, you can. Asexual. Wow, impressive. Jokes and trolling aside, can I get them digits? Jajamyang on me. Lit. Cool. I'll take your word for it. And I got a number. Only if you get the soju though. And we ended up texting back and forth for a bit, but she ended up busy, I was busy, and we really didn't set up a time. But it was a cool conversation while it lasts. So, just a little backstory. She, this girl in her Tinder profile, she, she was wearing a devil's Halloween costume. So, and she had like, you know, the devil horns. So I hit her up with a little horny. <laughs> I got, sorry. Hey, I had to do it. It's, when it comes to Tinder texting game, it, you're allowed to pretty much test the waters so of how far you can go. And um, yeah, so it, yeah, I'm just gonna, get back into this conversation. And she replies with no, I take it you are. I'm an angel, angel emoji, sent to me from the heavens above. Nope, reincarnated from the depths of hell. Close though, ooh, bad boy. And that's how it ended there. Cause I realized she lived in Washington, which was across the border. I'm like, yeah, I'm not gonna go across the border for a girl I met on Tinder. So when it comes to online dating, you know, before everyone was like hating on it, now everyone's on it because Tinder is a form of online dating. And I've found everyone from, you know, teachers on here, lawyers, pharmacists, doctors, and you know, you have to filter out the trolls, but there's actually people that you can meet on here. So there's no excuse if you're like, uh, I can't meet someone in the comfort of your home while you're taking a big deuce, okay? No excuses. But at the same time, that shouldn't be your only means of meeting people. If you're lazy, eh, but definitely not your only means. And that was my Tinder conversation. This video went on a little bit longer, but I thought it was a little interesting to show you guys, you know, Asian brother gets lonely sometimes too. All right. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Doses.